A lot of you been asking, Brandon, how did you make the tutorial video where you captured your audio from YouTube? What? A lot of you have been asking how I recorded my uh, reaction video to the how to press the F key video, whatever. So I thought I would show you in this video, I'll make a tutorial. No, I'm kidding, none of you guys asked me. That video's got like 30 views right now. This is OBS Studio. If it looks like I have an infinite number of desktops open, it's because I do. Not really. I'm currently recording on the left screen and I have OBS open on the left screen. If I move this to the right screen, this is what you would see. You wouldn't even know that you're recording your desktop. So we're gonna pretend that I have not already added a display capture. This would be the state that you're in. Click plus, choose display capture, name it whatever you want, click okay. Choose which monitor you wanna capture from and then click OK. So this is the one we just added. Old one, new one, old one, new one. Right click the new one, transform, choose stretch to screen. So now we took up the full screen. If you want to hide your taskbar, just click the bottom here and drag it down until your taskbar is gone. We're gonna remove this display capture though and use the original one that I have added. Now to add the camera, click the plus, choose video capture device, name it whatever you want, click OK. I'm just going to click OK. And I need to turn on my camera. And there I am. Now you can move this wherever you want. Most people have it down at the bottom right. And if I were to open up YouTube or whatever, I'm at the bottom right of the screen. We're going to move it up to the top though, make it a bit bigger. Now something I still need to do, I have the audio going through my Rode microphone into my headphones, so I need to switch the audio on the computer from my Bose to my Rode. And then I also need to do that down here, mic auxiliary, settings, properties, and change that to Rode. Click OK, and same with desktop audio. Now you would want to switch this to whatever, wherever you're playing your audio through so that uh, OBS is recording that audio correctly. So now if I go into YouTube and play a video, you can see the green dials down here, the green bars. I'm not gonna be able to tell this now listening, but you as a viewer, you'll be able to notice the difference here. YouTube video is louder, quieter, louder, quieter audio coming from the microphone I'm talking the same levels y'all oh, can hear me you can, you can hear me it's getting quieter 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 now you can hear me I usually have the audio from the mic fully all the way up and then the desktop I usually found negative 35 decibels is pretty perfect for me but if you're unsure just switch it to like negative 25 record at negative 25 for like 5 to 10 seconds and then play back that recording and see how it compares to the audio with your talking. Can you hear yourself? Is YouTube or whatever whatever you're listening to louder than what you want? Um, that's something that's really cool about the Rode microphone. There's two knobs on this thing. The bottom one's just your basic volume control. Just for me, you can't tell the difference. And then the top one, there's two icons, which you probably can't see. The left is a microphone, and then the right is a monitor. So if I have the dial in the middle, it's about 50-50, I can hear YouTube and myself talking. If I switch it all the way over to the left, now you're not gonna be able to tell the difference, just I can tell the difference. Right now I can't hear YouTube at all. I can only hear me talking. If I switch it all the way to the right, I cannot hear me talking at all, but I can hear YouTube. Again, there's no difference for you. This is just for me recording videos. So I usually like mine about two clicks to the left of center. And I like that because I can tell if I'm talking too loudly or if I'm not talking loud enough and I need to talk at a normal volume. So I don't know, I just thought it was a cool feature. So now to add, um, to add the recording into Adobe Premiere or whatever video software you're using, I'm gonna have to stop the recording real quick to grab the recording that we just now recorded. So I'm gonna click stop. Now this is a new recording. Hello. We're just gonna put this down in the bottom real quick as well. Make it smaller. 
I'm gonna go to file, show recordings. This is the one we recorded earlier. Now normally you would move this to whatever directory your video project is at, but for the purposes of this, I'm just gonna click it, go down to Adobe Premiere and drop it right into the timeline. This is. And then yes. as you can see, it goes right into there and I'm still at the bottom, bottom right. Now what, what I like about this way of doing things is let's say I'm, I'm listening to this and I, also need and I don't like what, I, what I'm what i saying. I can just click here, I can cut it, you know, wherever my mix, mess up is. And I don't have to make adjustments with, you know, two, I don't have to adjust the video of me and then the video of YouTube or whatever's in my background. Uh, another thing that's really great is if you're actually listening to like YouTube right now, let's say I wanna hear this song. And I want to pause it. And I want to talk about the lyrics or the beat or whatever. I can just do that, and then I can hit play again. I see a lot of YouTubers that talk about how to do make reaction videos, and they actually download the YouTube clip, and they have that as one file source that goes into Adobe Premiere, and then the other one is them talking. So they actually have to have like a, a cue where when they go to hit pause on YouTube, they see themselves, you know, doing something or like they look at the camera, they somehow know, so then when they go to sync the two clips, they can have it perfect. I think that's a lot of a lot of work and just seems dumb. I think this is way easier. And it's pretty simple. So yeah. That's it. It's it's easy.